only the one contact. It's just before sunrise, but Commander Jim Elmore and his team have been at work for hours, keeping watch as the USS Harry S. Truman steers 110 miles off the coast of the Carolinas. They saw him earlier on AAS, but that's different than the information that they gave. All right. We join the Silver Spring Sailor in what's called the Flag Bridge, the command center for navigating this 100,000 ton ship. I know right away that this guy may present an issue in the near future based on just the information I have right here. The team in this room responsible Come right, steer course 050 I, sir. for avoiding collisions and keeping the ship safe. I like to call it, uh, you know, we maneuver like a roller skate on ice. Everything happens very slowly. Uh, we don't have a lot of power compared to our weight. And that's why Elmore is constantly keeping an eye on three radars, as well as what's right out the window. The whole time you're scanning, scanning the horizon, you know, every 15 minutes looking through your binoculars. If you can identify those contacts early, small course changes early can make a huge difference. Elmore's time in the Navy over 16 years has included six deployments all over the world, as well as a stint teaching at the Naval Academy in Annapolis. On board the Truman, he's also responsible for the ship's damage control center. Elmore says the hardest part of the job is being away from family and that there's no room for error. That's something very specific to aircraft carriers is that we're always operating. There's never a day off and you always have to be on top of your game. But the days are also rewarding. He says the sense of something new is always on the horizon. And with the sun now blazing, Red rear leave to it's time to pass the watch to the next team. This is Commander Elmore. Lieutenant Denise has the deck. As Elmore's shift ends, another is just beginning. When we come back. Joining the Navy made me a better person and a better man. We go below deck to visit D.C. native Victor Chestnut.